after you sign up and create an account it's going to be like this so there is nothing here no chart no transaction nothing no holdings so now i have an account with binance i have an account with kucoin i have an account with eight io so all these portfolio i can track them all together here so for instance let's take binance so if we click connect portfolio we can search for any exchange any wallet metamask trust wallet uh bitcoin wallet coinbase so let's take binance for example here it tells me the instructions what to do and how to add it let's Binance. Then we need to have API key and API secret. We go to our Binance account, then profile, then API management. After that, we label it as Queen Stats. We can label any name, create API. Then you need to have verification code for your phone, email address, um, authentication code as well. So let me click and get sent. I will type those numbers in and I'm connected. After you enter the code, now what we have, we have here API key and API secret key. Here as well, what we can do, I'm gonna uh, give permission to CoinStats only to read my transaction. So you can check those as well, but I recommend only uh, enable reading. So I'm gonna copy my API key Go back to Coin Stats, paste it here, and then go back again to Binance. Copy your secret word or key. Go back to Coin Stats, paste it here. So I will select Connect. It takes a few minutes. Um, I can connect my future account, saving account, isolate margin account, and spot account. I only need my spot account. So add account. Wait, it, wait for a few seconds. Now, let's see my analytics. Here, it's a, a cool feature. It says uh, my top gainer. I have BTC number one, Ethereum number two, and Solana number three. You can skip it, but if we go ahead and see the, the rest, my top uh, loser coins, these my coins that I'm currently losing money. Um, and then, it says how much fee I have paid over time, uh, how much I have deposited, and how many trades that I did, and the amount of money that I withdraw. Now, let's go ahead and add a new portfolio. For instance, I want to add my MetaMask. If you have multiple MetaMask, multiple uh, accounts, you can add them all together here. So, MetaMask, and then MetaMask, I can name it MetaMask1 then connect, then it goes right away to my extensions that I added to my Google Chrome. Next, connect, takes a few seconds. Okay, so added successfully. Let's see what's going on with my MetaMask. So it tells me I hold this much mo uh, money in my wallet. Okay, so after I have connected my Binance account and my MetaMask wallet address to this app, you go to Portfolio Tracker, and then you will see your entire holding here. It has a nice feature. If you look at this right in the top, you can sync it all at this current moment. The numbers will be updated right away. Then, if you select Holdings, you can see everything that here that I'm currently holdings is from my Binance account. And then this table, you can customize it, which is pretty nice. If you select this big dot right here, you can customize your table. I can remove the market cap. Let's say I want to add a little graph um, and so forth. So it's basically a nice feature. Then if you select the swap, I don't recommend this. You can you can select the uh, the wallet and then you can swap from here. But I don't recommend this. Then if we go back again to all assets, then I select chart. This is the chart. It tells you how much you are holding, uh, and then it tells you the percentage that 
current coins that you are, you have in your portfolio as well as the heat map here the analytics which is a nice feature it tells you the most profitable coins that you have only my btc ethereum and solana and then this is my total trade this is the total amount that i withdraw this is the total fee paid and the exchange with finance you can add any other exchange as well as i said before so and then if you go to the transaction you can see my entire transaction will be here and you can customize it you can put the date from which date to which date that you want to know and what type of let's say only the buy if i will apply this is my buy orders that has been filled with the exchange and let's say if you want to check the deposit to buy apply this is the amount that i have deposited and all type let's apply that and you can download export me c sv as well then if we go to the open orders this is open orders that i have currently with binance i put this coin for sell for the price limit order and i put those orders for buy um, if the market drops so you can see and track them here you can switch your currency um, let's say i will choose canadian dollar or you want to have a euro um, select any currency that you, are, you like and you can choose what language you want and then if we go to live prices right away you will see uh, the total market cap for the entire crypto space it's three trillion dollars with the volume through 24 hours and then the btc dominance um, it's a cool feature and this is the all coins here you can see the prices and so forth is a lot up to 205 pages over 20,000 coins then the exchange every exchange exists in the world here uh, you can have your favorite the DeFi the head map again now if we go to these three dots you can see the alerts select the alert now I can customize and put alerts for me here. Let's say in terms of price limit, market cap, volume, let's say price limit. And let's choose BTC or Ethereum. We select Ethereum and then I will tell them, okay, the condition, if Ethereum increased or decreased by 10%, please notify me. So I'll put 10%. And I'll put uh, a note for myself, buy. And then, okay, then I'll click save, we'll be right here. So if it hit this condition, then we'll, I will get a notification. Um, for market cap as well, you can do that. For the volume, particular coins, and so forth. Go back again, 24 hours report. This is 24 hour cryptocurrency market report. It tells you the market cap, the volume, your portfolio what's happening the market overview the top volume through 24 hours and then top gainers top losers on the exchange so another cool feature that coin stats offer it's a quick research that you can make a quick research about particular coin whether you you're holding that coin or you want to search for that let's type big